Oh my God, you guys, it's here. All right, so that shot wasn't, ooh, ooh, it's spilling. So I touch it and it unlocks. Like, how cute is that? This is the ribbed corset bodysuit. So y'all, I got these really cute espresso cups from Target. Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now on to the video. Hey you guys, what's up? CZ back with another video. Happy Friday or whenever you guys are watching this video. It is Friday, January 21st. If it's your first time watching me or my channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I do productivity videos. We talk about our corporate careers. We talk about some beauty things on this channel and all things woman, fabulosity, lifestyle. That didn't even make sense, but y'all get it. Just subscribe, okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, like I said, today's Friday, January 21st. We have a few things to do today. I just kind of wanted to do a day in the life vlog and um, show you guys, I guess, my Friday work routine. On Fridays, I work from home um, pretty much every Friday. It is a very rare thing if I go into the office on a Friday. So um, I have a few activities that I do on Fridays that I like to ensure that I am closing the week out right and then being ready to start my week off well on Mondays, okay? So for those of you who don't know, I am an HR business partner at a company here in Cleveland and um, I love my job. I talk about my job a lot on this channel and I also do career strategy meetings with whoever wants one. The link is always down in the bio and I help you guys love your jobs and get the most out of your jobs or switch your career path and go a different route if that is what you so choose. So um i'm sitting here watching a little youtube and answering some emails it's about 9 a.m a little after 9 a.m have a few things to do today uh one of them being going to get my second vaccination shot so i have not been covid vax this whole time my husband and i decided in at the end of december that we will go get it done just because we got tired of going back and forth with the mandates were going on if they were going to mandate it if they weren't and we just kind of got tired of going back and forth i i think i've had this conversation with you guys on the vlog channel i still don't know if i made the right decision for me you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I made the decision to go to go get the first shot and I get it. But I don't feel I don't know if that was the right decision for me. I still don't feel like it was because I just I don't know. I just I, I don't even have an explanation. I just really don't feel like it was. But I'm going to go get it done anyway. And we're going to be fully vaxxed after today. So I don't want to hear nothing else. All right. So we're going to go do that today. And then um what else? I have some clothes to try on from you guys from Nasty Gal, with you guys from Nasty Gal. They sent over some really, really cute pieces. Well, I picked out some really, really cute pieces. So um, I want to try on those for you guys. We are going to, like I said, go through my Friday work routine and... I don't know that's all I could think of right now so we're gonna start this video off by going to get some coffee because I need it oh oh and this shirt I got the sweatshirt from Target they have all their black history stuff out if you have not been and this one says noir is what I'm wearing today so black is what I'm wearing today. I love this sweatshirt. They have all different sweatshirts. If you guys don't know, Target always puts out their Black History stuff. Um, in the month, like mid-January, right after Christmas, the Black History stuff starts rolling out and they usually have some really good stuff. So I love going to Target to like snatch up everything they have for myself, my husband, my kids. Like I just get everybody good stuff. So I got some really good stuff last week. And this is one of the sweatshirts that I got. And yeah i think that's about it so coffee all 
all right so y'all i got these really cute espresso cups from target if you guys have not seen this in your target dollar spot you are missing out go look asap they have the cutest little coffee bar items i also got this like bamboo kind of tray here i just been keeping like some leave and stuff on here and then i got a candle and then some coffee up here which somebody didn't replace one so it always looks full so let's do that now i want nobody but mark so i like to keep this always looking full and cute up top and then i have these like i said these little espresso cups they are so cute and mini and just like these are everything right so i'm gonna make a little bit of espresso and then i'm going to um froth some milk and it's about to be good all right, so I thought the camera was recording, but it was not. So I have my milk frothing in my Keurig here, and I just used a little bit of the Planet Oat Unsweetened Original Oat Milk, and then some of the White Mocha, White Chocolate Mocha International Delight Creamer. And I have these cute little cups from TJ Maxx. I got these a few weeks ago. They're so cute for coffee. So I'm just gonna make me put an espresso shot in there and then I'm gonna pour it all in this cup. All right, so I wanted to try out the cups because they're so cute, but as you guys saw, like it makes a freaking mess on the coffee machine just because the cup isn't high enough to catch all the drips. So, cute in theory, but you know. All right, so that shot wasn't, ooh, ooh, it's spilling. This whole thing was not as aesthetic as I wanted it to be. <laughs> but this coffee about to be good though. I got it spilling everywhere, child. Let me drink some of this. Oh my God, you guys, it's here. I just got a super exciting package in the mail y'all and I just filmed a video on it I'm so excited that video up will probably be up before this one so if you haven't seen it I'll make sure I link it there but I just got my brand new MacBook Pro in the mail and I'm I'm so excited okay I'll show you guys it in a second but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day real quick since I did talk about this sweatshirt so here's my outfit of the day you guys very very simple cute cozy I have one of these slippers that I showed you guys in my Amazon favorites video they're from Amazon they're just so comfy and cute and then I have these jeans they fit so well oh my gosh I love how they fit they're from Express I've had them for a minute but I'll see if I can find them so I can link them for you and then I have on the Target sweatshirt that I talked to you guys about a little bit ago and I bought it in a large so it could be a little oversized and I just love how it fits it's not too tight it's just super comfortable and I love that so this is my Friday outfit of the day Okay, so you guys should check that video out if you haven't, but this is my new MacBook. This is my old MacBook right here. I had a 13 inch MacBook Pro, like 2017 I think it was. This is the new MacBook Pro, the 14 inch with the M1 chip from Mac, and it's just so cute, y'all. It has the touch ID, so I just touch it, and the thing unlocks. Why, why is it not? Oh, because I have the wrong finger on there. Sorry. I use my middle finger. So I touch it and it unlocks. Like, how cute is that? I love it so, so, so much. It just looks so cute and so sleek. I'm so excited to edit on this thing. Will it lock back if I touch it? Oh, no, it doesn't lock back. Okay, let's go. 
All right, y'all, so now let's do some work, right? So on my desk, I actually have my personal computer and I have my work computer on my desk. So my personal computer, I'm usually watching some YouTube video or something like that, just for some background noise. That's how I work, it works for me yeah so that's what i'm usually doing in the background but then on top of that fridays are definitely a day to answer emails to finish up any lingering tasks and also to set up my week for monday so one of my favorite things to do on fridays well one of my i should say non-negotiable things to do on fridays is definitely clean up my email inbox that is so important i don't want to come into monday with a full inbox just full of stuff that I could have cleared out the week before. So I file anything that needs to be filed in a specific folder in my email. So you guys know I work in HR and I work with unions. So if there is any union contact, I can file that away. If there was any, anything, whatever needs to be filed. Um, if we're updating our COVID protocols, I have a folder for that in my email. So I file anything that I don't need immediately, but that I may need to reference later I file it in the appropriate folder I would definitely recommend setting up your email at work and for your personal email with folders it really helps keep things organized so you can easily reference them later I also go ahead and respond to any emails that I may have missed throughout the week I carefully go through my inbox and make sure that there are no emails there that I just missed on Tuesday or Wednesday because that can happen. It does happen. And so Friday is my day to make sure that I'm closing the loop on all of those things. And then of course, getting rid of trash, getting rid of any emails that I just don't need anymore. I try to do this throughout the week as the emails come through and I finish up whatever it is, but you know, sometimes I miss some. So I go back through, I try to leave my email as empty as possible on Friday evening if I have more than like five or six emails in my inbox I, I'm you know I it, it drives me nuts I have to file everything away so the next thing I do is I finish up any lingering tasks I like to leave some lingering tasks for Friday so anything that may it's an easy task it's not super urgent and it may take just a little time so something that's going to take me 30 minutes or more I like to leave for Fridays because I set my week up so that Fridays are my easy days I don't really have many meetings on Fridays, so it's really the day just to wrap up anything that I didn't have a chance to do throughout the week the rest of the week is pretty hectic so it's nice to have one day just to be able to woosa and do things at my own pace the last thing I do is also set up my week for the next week so i look through my calendar i move any meetings if they need to be moved i schedule any meetings that i feel like need to be scheduled for the next week and i just make sure my calendar is all set up and that i mentally am prepared for the next week i don't like to go into the next week unprepared or disorganized or with any surprises so i try to set my week up the best i can on friday evening for Monday so yeah those are the things that I do that's like my Friday work routine on Fridays those are the things that I am primarily focused on unless something's popped up and I have to take care of something a little more urgently I'm sitting here listening to the dream girl soundtrack soundtrack dream girls was on last night I made mark steps like 1 a.m um singing dream girls um that is like that's definitely one of my favorite movies like ever so we were up like one o'clock in the morning watching the end of dream girls me singing every song and just getting nostalgia because i love that movie so much like everybody's role everybody did such a great job in that movie but i feel like eddie murphy played the mess the mess out of that role they all did all of them every single one of them but eddie murphy was like probably my favorite character in dream girls He's so funny but Anyway, I'm sitting outside of CVS. <laughs> it's like one o'clock. Um, I'm sitting outside of CVS getting ready to get the second dose of this vaccine. Um, I forgot this car. I was going to talk to you guys on the ride, but I completely forgot that this car is not set up for me to... Um, 
to film in here I don't have the tripod thing in here yet this is the new car so um, I couldn't like talk while I was driving but I'm getting the second dose of this vaccine this is the one that some people say you might get sick from so I'm hoping I'm okay this weekend and I don't get any symptoms Mark actually got his not yesterday but the day before and he was perfectly fine so I'm hoping I have the same reaction and I'm perfectly fine um I'm just yeah I, I'm not gonna talk anymore about this damn vaccine because I don't really want to get it but I just bit the bullet and went ahead and got it and so I'm again I just don't know if it was the right decision but I'm already halfway there I might as well keep going right so we're gonna go in here and get the second dose I also need to look for a mouse pad for Mark I told him I could order him one off Amazon days ago and he's like no I don't need a mouse pad um and so now he needs a mouse pad so I'm gonna see if they have one in here and then I'm gonna stop and get a smoothie also I don't think I told did I tell you I think I did tell you guys but it was a while ago so Mark and I are um working now for the same company which is pretty cool and so now he has like a, a corporate job this is his first like corporate job and um he gets to work from home some days both of us are on like a hybrid work schedule so today was our first day working together in the office and i mean the setup's working pretty well uh, we had we were on a call at the same time today so it was our first time and mine was pretty informal so I was just able to leave the room and take mine in another room but other than that I think we're going to be pretty good both of us have headphones as well so um that's that was it's pretty cool working like in the office for the first time today I feel like we're probably going to get sick of each other eventually um and get tired of each other's like habits working side by side but we'll have to see how that goes all right, let's head into CBS. What's up, y'all? So we made it back home. Finished the vaccination process, so I am now fully vaxxed, and I ended up going into Staples um, to grab Mark a mouse pad, and I got him some like wireless headphones for his phone, and then I went to the smoothie spot, and now I'm back home. So I just had to answer a few more emails, and now I think I'm pretty much done for the day. It's a little after two, and Fridays are usually pretty easy days like for what I do I try to set my weeks up so they're super like top heavy Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then Mondays and Fridays is kind of my catch-up day and I don't get try to schedule any calls and I just try to catch up on those days right so I think I'm about done for the day unless I get a call or something pops up so I thought I would come in here and show you guys um, the dresses that I got and the pieces that I got from nasty gal so Let's do that now. That looks cute. Promising right there. Ooh, that looks really cute. All right, let's try it on. So this is the first dress right here. It is super cute. I love where it sits. I love the tie in the front. It has the cute split on the side. It fits so nicely. It is so adorable. The color is super cute. Let me tell you what this is. This is the long lined ribbed belted neck dress in the color brown and I got mine in a size large. This color is everything right here i could definitely see myself rocking this and that split just makes it a little extra sexy i like that a lot has this ribbed material here oh y'all this is cute and it is so well made it's pretty thick it's so well made yeah i'm liking that a lot all right so this next dress i thought it was a little more fitted but this dress is so well made it is thick 
thick thick like this is for those really cold cold winter days has a little split on the side this is the roll lot of love ribbed knit midi dress and this one's in size medium so i don't have my belts down here but i think to make this just a little more fitted i would probably belt the waist and really just give my waist some shape let me see if i could use that brown belt clearly i wouldn't wear a brown belt with this but let me just see if it works hold on all right can y'all see me let's see if this works my other belts are upstairs but you might be able to get the picture with this Okay, so clearly the belt isn't the right color, but with the little like cinched belt right there, at least it gives it like more shape. And then I would also roll up the sleeves here. And I think that would actually look really cute with some boots, like some knee high boots or something like that. And I think you have a really cute dress. This is something you can wear to work. This is something you can wear to church. This is something you can definitely rock in a number of different settings. And I mean, it's really cute. It has the turtleneck. You just gotta cinch it. Like I said, I, that's all I would do is just make sure I cinch it. But this is actually really, really cute. Once you put a little shape to it. I just like to put a little shape to it. And then you have the turtleneck. This is the material, y'all, thick. Like this is cold outside when you're wearing this for real. Cause it is thick, but it's really cute. And really warm. Okay, next item is this bodysuit. This is the ribbed corset bodysuit. I got mine in a size 14. I think that equates to like a size 10 or 12 in US sizing, but I got it in a size 14 and fits so good. This is a thong bodysuit, so really nice to not show any panty lines. I love the corset look right here how it has kind of the bra cups in it and i love the amount of cleavage showing i think it's a really cute amount of cleavage showing this is something i would wear on date night in the summertime without a a jacket but right now i would probably put a jacket over it and it just looks really really cute it's this cute like egg shell yellow color like a very very pale yellow i love how it's ribbed if you can see that it almost reminds me of like a wife beater material but better made like thicker and just made more quality but it looks really really good i like how it fits and then i have these pants on i'm gonna put on the entire outfit in a second but these pants right here they're so soft and so comfortable they're pretty long which i'm surprised i got them in a size medium and they fit perfectly like they fit pretty perfect these are the popcorn wide leg lounge trousers and these are perfect for walking around the house for just lounging like some good lounge wear you can also um obviously wear these out the house as well and they're really cute they're that fuzzy super fuzzy material skims had made something like this like a set like this with shorts i think and pants so this kind of reminds me of that and i love this really cute like nude camel color all right so i just put this top on top of the bodysuit so to go with the pants they have the popcorn short sleeve lounge top i also have this in a size medium so let's put that back all right so this is the full outfit together obviously i have on the bodysuit but this is kind of a crop top and i have these pants pulled up pretty high since they are so long but this is again just a really cute outfit to just be around the house lounging doing nothing you know they're so soft and so comfortable and i could see myself wearing this like on a saturday or a sunday just to chill out seriously 
I could really see myself with this on. This is the material. It's just, I can't stop touching it because it's so soft, y'all. So pretty. It's just extra soft. So that's the full outfit. All right, so those were the pieces. Thanks again to Nasty Gal for sending those pieces over. If you guys are interested in any of them, they will all be linked down below in the description box. <sighs> but now let's go clean up the office and get prepared for the weekend. <laughs> It's um, 6.55 p.m. Still working, not on work stuff, but I'm working now on um, just some YouTube stuff as well as doing a follow-up to my career consultations. So I was going to end the vlog with me cleaning up for the weekend, but I thought I would let you guys know because I just got a question in my DM and I've gotten this question several times. What you get if you book a career I'm, tr I'm trying to think of a better name than career consultation i'm thinking career strategy call or career strategy meeting or something like that but i just got a question what what all do you get with that um one hour or half an hour whatever you book career strategy meeting and um what i'm doing right now is my follow-ups so basically it is a one hour call where we can talk about any and everything that has to do with your career. Like, I mean, I go into a lot of detail also, and I also prepare beforehand. So I have the person send me their resume and any and all background information that they feel comfortable sharing about their career. And when they send that over, I look through it, I research, also have them send me over the, any questions that they have as well. And when they do that, I look through everything, I do my research on um, the questions that they're asking and the things that they want to talk about just to make sure that I'm prepared and I come with an agenda and a plan for the call. I also go over their resume and I do a thorough look at their resume and really kind of pick it apart, um, tell them what I would add depending on the jobs that they're applying for, give them interview tips if that's what they need. I've done some salary negotiation calls. I've done some mock interview calls where we just got on the call and um, I prepared like I was an interviewer for the job that she wanted to apply for and we did a, an entire mock interview and we kind of picked apart her interview skills for that hour so we can really talk about any and everything and um, it's it's been super helpful for a lot of people you can check out my reviews on Etsy and I appreciate all of you who have booked thank you so much it's 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 much appreciated but yeah that's up on etsy um the link is always in the description box i also have an interview guide it's just a comprehensive guide to help you get through any interview it's five dollars 
and um, it's it's super helpful. And my ebook is is on Etsy as well. I will be coming out with some new paid products this year. Um, I'm thinking a resume template. I'm actually working on that. That's probably going to be first. Is my resume template. So if you're interested in something like that, make sure you stay tuned. But um, I just wanted to go over that. So at, well, let me keep going I guess what I'm doing right now I had a consultation last night so after the call I write all of my notes down and and I so you don't have to like furiously write notes during the call right I write all of my notes down on a um on their resume so they can see everything that we talked about and if I need another piece of paper obviously I'll use another piece of paper all of my notes are there and I scan those over to you after the call and any other thing anything else we talked about so I've sent links to um, different resume templates I've sent career quiz career quiz links or um, anything else that I think is necessary I will send over links and um, pump that out to you within 24 hours so that is what you get for a career consultation if you you know have any questions about the direction of your career or um, again anything career wise I'm here if you need the service it's here so I'm finishing that up and then Mark and I are cooking dinner and then I get to relax for the rest of the night and play with my new toy it's been so hard trying to resist this camera just moved y'all sorry it's been so hard trying to resist not to play with this guy all day so i have the like i said 14 inch macbook pro i bought a new case for it like a couple weeks ago and so i'm finally able to use it it's such a cute leather brown case and i'm just excited to play with this guy and use it and that's what i'll probably be doing for the rest of the night so I'm going to wrap this vlog up. Thank you guys so much for spending a Friday with me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.